This was the escape wheel from my first Folio and Verge clock. It's made from a tin plate road wheel and it's quite heavy. You can make a much lighter wheel using a 14 tooth multi-purpose gear with a rubber ring and seven spring clips. This early Meccano clockwork motor is non-reversible. It means there's space to put the escapement shaft which carries a 12 tooth pinion which gets almost an 8 to 1 reduction from the yellow 95 tooth gear on the right. As the 7 toothed wheel turns round we'll get 14 beats. We can listen for them and time them with the stopwatch. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 18.09 seconds. We can increase the time taken for the escapement wheel to turn by adding washers onto the balance wheel. Ideally we want a time of 18.189474 seconds. Eighteen point one eight nine four seven four seconds reduced by ninety five to twelve, then by twenty five to one here, gives us three thousand six hundred seconds, the number of seconds in one hour. The twenty five tooth contrate gear here carries a load of washers. This is to counterbalance the weight of the minute hand at the other end of the shaft. The minute hand is a long bolt fixed onto a series of spring clips joined onto the central shaft rotating once every hour. Because of the weight of the bolt there's counterbalancing washers on a bolt attached to the contrate wheel at the back here. Then there's a reduction of 3 to 1 by the 19 tooth pinion and the 57 tooth gear through to the 15 tooth pinion and a loose 60 tooth gear here for the hour hand. The hour hand is simply a bolt fixed onto the boss of the 60 tooth gear. Friction is minimized by using this needle bearing created from an electrical pivot bolt which also acts as one of the feet for the clock. The rod is an electrical square ended rod which carries the spring clips. The spring clips themselves have quite low friction because they're so smooth and sharp. This clock only uses 19 Meccano parts, not including the nuts, bolts, washers and spring clips.